Today we are going to continue with our unit on culture. Good. Culture. Now in culture, we learned that there are many different ways of art, right? We've talked about different traditions. We've talked about good. We've talked about homes. Good. Now today we're going to talk about another thing that's very important. Yes, we've even talked about languages, right? We all say different ways of saying hello, right? We all talk differently, okay? Another thing that culture is all about is different foods. Now, who remembers International Day? What did we do for International Day at the end? What did we do for lunch? Good! We celebrated by having different kinds of food. Who remembers all the different foods we had? What did we have? What did our country, what was our country that day? Argentina, good. So we had Argentina food. Yes, it was awesome because we all were able to, yes, dance. We all have different dances too. But most importantly, we had different foods. Food is a great way for us to learn about our cultures and different traditions that we might have. So everyone eats different foods. So when you go to lunch, doesn't everyone have different kinds of food? Yes, because everyone is different and every culture, every tr every culture has different foods. And a lot of these foods are so yummy. So today what I want to do with you guys is I want you guys to think about some culture foods that you love. What are some foods that you love? Tell me, what are some foods that you love? Good. I know a lot of us like um, noodles, so I'm going to write noodles. Okay, good. Rice. I know some of us like spam. Good. What else do we like? Good. Juice. What else? Good. Someone said Happy Meal. Happy Meal. And someone said we like Jollibee. Okay. Those are all super yummy foods. I love rice. I love noodles. Oh, someone said chicken. Chicken. Okay. Spam. Oh, bacon. Someone said bacon. So I'm going to write bacon up here. Okay. Awesome. Wow. That's a lot of food. That means you guys have a lot of amazing food in your culture because you guys know that everyone eats different food. So some people don't eat all of this, okay, because they live in other places. And that's okay. They have other yummy foods too, okay? So what we're going to do is everyone's going to have their own cards that look like this. It has a lot of different foods. Yes, a lot of foods that you know. Good. So what I want you guys to do is first cut out these cards. They're little cards, so I want you to cut them out. So grab your scissors. Oh, hold on a second, guys. My scissors got lost. So let me find my scissors. Where did I put those scissors? Tara, where could my little scissors be? In the meantime, go ahead and cut them out. And I will grab my scissors. Oh, found them. Awesome. Okay, so by now you guys should be cutting them out. Miss D is a little behind since she has just found her scissors. Oh, yeah, yay. Couldn't find them. All right, guys. So open, shut. Open, shut. That's the way we cut, cut, cut. Open, shut. Open, shut. That's the way we cut, cut, cut. Okay, so there we go. We have cut our cards. Make sure you pick up your trash and you don't leave trash all over the place. Put this in the trash can. Okay, put the, the things that you cut out. Don't leave a mess for mommy. Okay, good. All right, here we go. Okay, I've cut all my cards. Awesome. So now I have all my cards cut out. They look just like this. 
Awesome. Okay, so if you are not done, pause that video and come back when you are done. Awesome. Okay, so if you are still with me, then that means that we are all done cutting our cards. Now what we're going to do is we're going to separate them into three different groups. How we're going to do that is Miss D is going to talk to you guys about these foods. Okay, I want you guys to listen to what I tell you guys about these foods. And I want you guys to tell me which one you think goes in that group. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to cut these cards out because these cards are going to help me help you guys find out about different kinds of food. And these are all foods that we eat every day. Some of you guys love these foods, so you guys will know what they are. Okay? All right, remember, trash. Put it in your trash can. Don't just leave it on the floor for mommy. Okay, so here we go. My first one, I have a card. Ah, tornado! Oh, no! Oh, no! Here we go. Okay, so my first one is a group. And I love this kind of food because this is what I love to eat. Okay, this is very popular. You guys might know about these. All right, Mexican food. Okay, Mexican food often comes in a tortilla made from corn. Who knows what a tortilla is? Who likes tacos? That's a tortilla. So you put the, the tortilla outside and inside of the tortilla you put the meat, right? And then you eat it. That's a taco, right? Good. They use lots of meat and peppers. So in Mexico, we use a lot of meat and peppers. Who knows what salsa is? Mmm, Misty loves salsa. How about your moms and dads? Do they love salsa? Do they love spicy food? Then they love peppers and Mexican food too. Good. So Mexican food, it comes with tortillas, peppers, meats, and lots of yummy food like that. Okay? Next we have a... Very yummy food. This is probably Misty's fav second favorite. Italian food. Italian food. Italian food is mostly pasta. They use many different sauces and many um, dishes have tomatoes. Many dishes have tomatoes. Okay, so with Italian food, we think of pastas. So when we think of pastas, we can think of the word uh, macaroni. What's macaroni? Pasta. Spaghetti. That's pasta. What else? Good. Very good. Even pizza is Italian. Yes, pizza is not pasta, but it is Italian. Yes, pizza is Italian food. Very good. They use a lot of tomatoes, right? What do you put on the, on the pizza? You put tomato sauce and cheese right? The tomato sauce, right? Lots of tomato. Mm -hmm. Yes. So it's very important to remember that they use a lot of sauce. It's not spicy, okay? It's just regular sauce and they use a lot of pasta. So whenever you see macaroni, you think of Italian food, okay? The next one I have is very yummy. And this one you guys might be more familiar with um, because this one is super yummy. And it has a lot of the words that we talked about today, okay? Chinese food. Chinese food. It's so yummy because it's made with noodles and rice. So a lot of the noodles and the rice that you guys love to eat, its um, origins is like Chinese food, okay? They use meats and veggies. Meats and veggies like chicken, spam, bacon, right? They have many soups. Who likes soups? Mmm. So in Chinese food, there's a lot of soup. Misty loves sweet and sour soup. That's my favorite. So boys and girls, just like there are a lot of different soups, there's more soups in Chinese food, okay? All right, so now what I want you guys to do is I want you guys to take a look at these pictures. Take a look at the pictures. I want you guys to think about where you think these fall. Okay, so I want you guys to look at your pictures on your own desk. I want you to help separate the pictures. So if you think that it's Mexican, put them in one little group. If you think they're Italian, put them in the middle. 
if you think that they are Chinese, you put them all the way to the left. Okay, here we go. Let's, and we can do it together. Just put them on your table. You don't need to tape or cut. You can just put them on the table or put them on a piece of paper and put them away from each other, okay? All right, so this one here, I'm looking at something good. It looks like chicken. Ah, but there's a clue. Good, there's chopsticks. Where do we use chopsticks? Does anyone know? Good, in China. So I'm going to put that under Chinese food because I know that chopsticks are in China. Good. All right, next I have a yummy plate of noodles. Noodles, yum. Where does that go? Also China. Good job. China. So I'm going to put that one um, right over here with Chinese food. Can you guys see that? I just thought about that. Maybe you guys can't really see that. There we go. Awesome. So that one goes in my Chinese food. So I'm going to make sure that that one stays all the way over there. Okay. Um, next I have, ooh, this is one of my favorites. Good. Tacos. Yum. So where do you think tacos go? Yes. Mexican food. Mexican tacos. Good job. They use tortillas, right? Tortillas. All right. This one is very yummy. This one's kind of hard to see because it has a lot of meat inside and tomato sauce. So if it has a lot of tomato sauce, where do you think that goes? Good. It is Italian. This is called a lasagna. Everyone say lasagna. How many sounds? Lasagna. Lasagna. Four. Good. All right, this next one here. Oh, well, this one actually looks like the other one. It looks very similar. What do you have? Noodles. Yes, more noodles. Yum, yum, yum. So we'll put the noodles with Chinese food because we know in Chinese food we have lots of noodles. All right. Ooh, this one's really yummy. All right, so we see a meat and inside, uh, wrapped in a tortilla. Where do you think that goes? Good, Mexican food. So you put that next to your Mexican food. Yum, that makes me hungry. All right, and then next we have meat with vegetables and um, peppers. Peppers, where do you think that goes? Lots of peppers. Good, Mexican food, because in Mexican food, we know that they use lots of peppers. Lots of peppers. Okay, good. All right, here we go. My next one is a very, very yummy, yummy thing that we like to eat a lot of. What do you think that is? Good, pizza. And where did we say pizza goes? Good, because it has a lot of what? Tomato sauce and cheese. Good. So that will go right here with Italian food. Pizza, pizza, pizza. I love pizza. All right. And my next one has more noodles and chicken. Because remember, they love to eat noodles and meat. Where do you think that one goes? Good. Yes, this one goes in the Chinese food. So we'll put that over with the Chinese food. Awesome. All right. And I have a couple more. Ooh, this one's yummy. Where does this one go? Good. Pasta, right? And we love to eat pasta. Italian food spaghetti. Yum, 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 yum. Okay. And then my last one, this one. This one's a little tricky to look at because you can't really see it. But it is a tortilla. And inside of it, they have meat, rice, and beans. What do you think that is? Good. Mexican food. So we're going to put that one right over here because we see the tortillas, okay? Anything wrapped inside of a tortilla is probably meat or cheese, and we know that there's a lot of meat and peppers and tortillas, okay? So good job, boys and girls. Now, I want you guys, when you are done doing your own, I want you to take a picture and send it to me on Seesaw so I can see that you were able to see the differences in between 
all the foods that make up our culture. Now, boys and girls, you also have the opportunity to explore with a pair of chopsticks. So if you have a pair of chopsticks, I want you to try to eat with those today. I know it could be a very, very difficult thing to do, but it'll be really fun. Fun to try. Instead of using a spoon, use some chopsticks to eat lunch. All right, boys and girls, I will see you on Hangout.